Thinking about adding a new computer monitor to your workspace? Here are the things you should consider before buying. Screen size. Computer monitors are measured the same way as TVs, in inches, diagonally across the screen. Basic monitors start at around 19 inches, with most brands offering displays up to 32 inches. We find that 22 to 24 inches for the typical user is a nice compromise between screen size and the amount of desk space you'll need. Resolution. A monitor's resolution tells you how much information will fit on the screen and is measured in pixels. The more pixels, the more information the monitor can display and the more detailed that information will be. Resolution is designated by a set of numbers which measure the amount of vertical lines of pixels by the amount of horizontal lines of pixels. The most popular resolution today is 1920 by 1080, also known as 1080p, which you might recognize as the same resolution as a full HD TV. This is a great resolution for the typical computer user. Web pages fit nicely, you can stack two Word documents side by side, and it displays most TV shows and movies with little to no letterboxing. Want to fit more on your screen? Choose a higher resolution display. 2560 by 1440 monitors, also known as QHD resolution, increase pixel amounts by 33% in each direction. And 4K UHD resolution doubles the resolution of a 1080p monitor in each direction effectively giving you four times more screen real estate. It's important to note the distinction between screen size and resolution. All monitors of the same resolution will fit the same amount of information on a screen, regardless of how much larger one monitor might be. But a monitor of a higher resolution will display more information than a monitor with a lower resolution, even if the monitors are the same size. So to fit more things on the screen, go for a higher resolution monitor. If you want the things on screen to just be bigger, go for a larger monitor. Aspect Ratio This describes how wide a display is compared to its height. The old tube type monitors were 4 by 3. Now, the most common ratio to find is 16 by 9, the same as most HD TVs. If you need more screen, consider an ultra-wide monitor sporting a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Ultra-wides are about 33% wider than a normal monitor and offer a good solution to the typical two-monitor setup often found on the desks of creative professionals and multitaskers who benefit from the large amount of display space. They're also popular with gamers who are looking for a more immersive gaming experience. Panel Type The two main panel types are the Twisted Pneumatic, or TN panels, and In-Plane Switching, or IPS panels, and their traits result in differing image quality and response times. Response time is the length of time it takes for a pixel to change in color or brightness. Faster response time creates a smoother image when the monitor is displaying fast action. A TN panel prioritizes speed over everything, with super low response times, but sacrifices color accuracy and viewing angles. So they're a great choice for competitive games, but not so good for anyone who needs dependable colors. IPS monitors have the opposite attributes. Response time is slower, which can lead to a phenomenon known as ghosting, but they have wide viewing angles and very accurate color reproduction. This makes them the preferred choice for professional designers, photographers, and video editors. Unless you're a hardcore gamer, we suggest a monitor with an IPS panel. Connectivity. It's important to make sure your new monitor has the proper inputs to match the computer it will be used with. If your new monitor is for an older computer, you may need one with either VGA or a DVI input. These inputs were standard on computers for many years, but have since been replaced with newer options. While no longer common, many monitors can still be found with DVI and VGA connectivity. Most monitors today connect to your computer via the HDMI port, which is the same port you'll find on the back of your HD TV and uses the same cable. DisplayPort is a newer connection found mostly on higher end monitors. Like HDMI, it carries both video and audio over a single cable. However, it can handle 4K content at a higher refresh rate, making it the better choice for those looking to do some serious gaming or video editing. To be safe, check your computer and confirm what type of video outputs it has before shopping for a new monitor. Other things to consider. Monitors with high resolutions demand a computer with robust graphics performance. Make sure that your computer is capable of supporting a monitor with a higher resolution or ultra-wide aspect ratio. If you're searching for a really, really large display, most LED TVs can double as a computer monitor. Just make sure your computer has an HDMI output. Many monitors include built-in webcams. Consider one if you'd like to video chat without needing to buy extra equipment. Do you use lots of USB components? Look for a monitor with a built-in USB hub, which lets you plug those devices right into your monitor instead of constantly reaching under your desk. Don't have the desk space for an extra large monitor? Most monitors can be mounted directly onto your wall using special mounts. Make sure your monitor is VESA compliant to ensure that it will fit on any of the industry standard mounts. 
With these facts, you should have no problem deciding what computer monitor is best for your needs. But remember, if you do need assistance, we're happy to help. Just give us a call or leave a comment below.